Very much, Mr. Secretary. Jane Sekulow, one of the uh, president's attorneys, taking a brief moment in the hallway to speak to reporters. We also have standing by right now Senator John Barrasso. He's a Republican from Wyoming. Senator, uh, good day to you. Thanks for taking time to talk to us. Thank you, Lester. Before we talk about the nitty gritty of what you've been witnessing the last two and a half hours, uh, give us a sense of the color in the room there. We're not able to see the senators. How are they taking all this in? What's the mood? What's, what's it like in there? Well, you know, we went about, what, 13 hours yesterday. People listened very carefully. They're still listening today. That's a great responsibility that we have. We are there under the uh, possibility of punishment by imprisonment if we talk. And I sit next to Lindsey Graham, and, you know, he's a talkative kind of guy. So uh, we're all trying to be in our best behavior. We're trying to pay attention. I just came from hearing two and a half hours of uh, 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 the uh, the argument uh, by Adam Schiff, it just to me it was uh, no different than what I heard yesterday. I didn't hear anything new today, and that's what I'm hearing from my Republican uh, colleagues, that we have another 22 hours of him making presentations, but we've heard nothing new today. He, he has set up a, a, a factual kind of argument. This happened, this happened, this happened. What we know about the president's defense is it's largely built on the process, that the constitutionality of, of this impeachment right from the get-go. Uh, is that what you want them to respond to, or are you hearing anything that helps you make a decision here? Well, I think uh, many of the members have watched this process unfold. Of course, most of the Republicans believe that the effort was in before President Trump even took office to impeach him. The Washington Post, the day that the president took office, had the headline, the campaign to impeach President Trump has begun. Uh, we've seen all these activities. Nancy Pelosi said they've been at it for two and a half years, but yet the uh, phone call didn't happen until this past July. So it does seem that this is very partisan. Uh, they've rushed the process in the House. I think they've done a poor job of actually putting a case together. It's very flimsy. Now they want to bring in uh, new witnesses, new evidence, new individuals to testify when they could have done all of that. They said that the evidence is overwhelming. Well, if it's overwhelming, they should need new, uh, new witnesses. And one of the members of the, uh, the prosecution team yesterday, the House team, said, look, it's critical that we do this immediately. Well, Nancy Pelosi sat on these uh, articles for 33 days, and America has seen it as what it is, a political stunt, very partisan, uh, directed at uh, not just overturning the last election, but going after the next election to the point they actually are calling for President Trump's name to be eliminated from the ballot in 2020. Senator uh, Chuck Todd is with me. He has a question hey, for Chuck. you. Hey, uh, Senator Barrasso, I understand this morning before the hearings began that uh, the leadership, Senator McConnell, and I know you're part of it, you brought in, I believe, the former Attorney General Mike McKenzie to make a, you essentially make the case to your entire conference why executive privilege should be respected here. Um, in the case of some of these witnesses. Let me ask you this. Is there any room here in the middle, which is go into closed session and hear Bolton, just not with the cameras on? I mean, you're, you've, you've served on, uh, you've had to get classified material in the past. It seems as if here is a eyewitness. At the end of the day, no matter what anybody thinks of this case, you have an eyewitness. Don't you want to hear this eyewitness? And if it means turning the cameras off, so be it. Well, as you know, we are adopted the model from P President Clinton's impeachment of 20 years ago, which is 24 ar hours of, of argument, no. presentation of the case uh, by the House, 24 hours by the, the Senate, by the President, but with the White House, and then 16 hours of questioning. And we're then going to put have the question put to us as the 100 members of the Senate. Do you need more information to make a decision, yes. or have you heard enough information so we can go to so final ducking, judgment? You're ducking and my 51 question. Members, 51 members will make that decision, and if people at that point say, we well, need to hear more, we need to hear from this witness or that witness, let's bring them in, either for deposition, for closed hearing and testimony, or in front of the entire Senate, 51 members will make that determination at that time, after we've heard... 48 hours of right. presentation sounds and like 16 you, hours of questions. Sounds like you're not interested in hearing from John Bolton. Well, I'm going to want to hear the whole case by both the House and the White House and make a decision at that time. I think by that time, people are going to have had enough information to make an informed decision and make a final judgment. All right.
Senator Barrasso, thank you very much. I know it's a short break. We appreciate you spending a few minutes with us. Thanks for having me, Lester. All right, let's go to Casey.